Hey everybody, hello, hello, hello. We are live, right? Yeah. Hi, I'm Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and this is my daughter, Catherine. Wanna say hi? Hi. And we are live on my channel, Erin Reed Makes, and also on Orange Art Box. What, what? <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure I got my comments all up. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so today we are going to play with pine cones. What kind of pine cone are you gonna do? Ombre. What does that mean? Ombre means that you're going to take it and go from light to dark. Can you pick out an ombre over here to show people what that light means? Light blue to dark blue. So here's an example of one ombre that we have painted. So see how it's gone from yellow and then to orange to red. And then what was the one that you held up? It's light blue to dark blue. So light blue to dark blue. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to do white, light blue, and then dark blue. Are you going to do two colors of blue or three? Two. Two. Okay. So, well, well, she's three. three. <laughs> so what we've already done over here, and we're just going to move out of the way, but you guys can see, is that we've taken, these are the paint kits that come with the orange art box, because all of these supplies will be in the orange art box that is an upcoming box for this holiday season. So this is one of the projects that you can do out of that box. You get your pine cones, you get your paint brushes, you get your paints, and you can have fun. And there's a second idea that we're going to do that I'm going to show you guys, but she's going to do the painting and I'm going to do the pom-poms. So... What colors did we put in here to get the blues? Um, we put white. We put white with light. Wait, what? White, lots of white with like a, a little bit of dark blue. Yeah, and then we put some white with lots of blue. So this one to make it lighter, it's more white than blue, a little bit of blue, and this one's got about a 50-50 mix in it. So you're gonna go from white to light to dark. Or do you want to go with light down? or dark down, which one? Dark down. You're gonna dark at the top? Yeah. Okay, that's cool, it's a reverse ombre, totally no, cool. No, 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 no. white. Oh, you're gonna do white at the top, okay. okay. You know, however they want to do that, they can have tons of fun. So again, this is all of the products that you can get. And this is just one of the many art projects that you're going to get in this particular box. This is called the Winter Wonderland Box from Orange Art Box. And right now for the next two days, while she's painting, I'm going to explain this. Go ahead and start painting. For the next couple of days, Orange Art Box, if you order an immediate ship box and put in the code Toys for Tots, not only do you get 10% off, but Orange Art Box is donating a box to Toys for Tots. So head on over. The link is down in the information section. Don't forget to put in that code Toys for Tots to get your 10% off the immediate ship. And then you also get to the, the company is going to send these boxes off to Toys for Tots. So kids get to have an amazing box for arts and crafts, which is awesome, right? All right. So the other craft that is in this box are these pine cones. These things are so fun. So and we are going to well, she's got pine cones here, but we also have pom poms that are going with it. So you also get glue dots. These are no must, no fuss, super, super simple to make it. And it's to make these pom pom ones, which are really adorable. Right. Yeah. So I made an ombre where I went from white to light purple to dark purple. Here's another version that I did. I went from white to yellow to orange to red. Um, over here on my little tree that I hung them up. So you can take these pine cones and you can add a little string to them and hang them up. This was a fun one I did with pine cones a long time ago with my kids, where you can also take a pipe cleaner and you can make it look like tinsel inside because it looks like a little Christmas tree when you hold your pine cone up, which yeah. is pretty fun. Then we added a little one hanging up this way and then just had fun with the colors of pom-poms inside of there. So super simple and literally the pipe cleaner or chenille stem or whatever you want to call it is just twisted inside of there. So it's really, really super simple. Very, very easy to get set up. So, and they look super cute on your Christmas tree. It's a great uh, project, art craft, whatever, for all ages. Boys love it, girls love it, and they can paint it. But you can also do a mix of the pom-poms and also the painting, which is what we did. We made a multicolored rainbow one. Look at that, right? Yeah. So how do you put the pom-poms onto your pine cone with the glue dots? So I take one square at a time, and these are all perforated, so they just pull apart. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. <laughs> also, the, the pine cones come with string on them. Well, some do, some don't. It just depends yeah. on which pine cones you get. So you pull apart the two pieces, and then you have a little sticky piece that's left on here. So I keep looking to make sure if there's anybody commenting. I'd love to hear your comments. So we have a little sticky piece right here. And then that is what you can do one of two ways. Either you can put the sticky piece directly onto the pine cone. And so you just put the sticky part on there. And you just rub, rub, rub. And you lift it off. 
da -da. you have to make sure you rub hard enough. And then you got the little sticky piece that was left on the pine cone. And then what color should I do for mine? Should I just do a rainbow? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, ooh, you're done? Did you do the dark, dark blue? Yes. Oh, very pretty. I love it. So there it is. Look how fast that was. That was so fun. So I'm just going to do mine as like rainbow colors. And the best part about the glue dots is that they don't dry out. So even if your child put their, or you did personally, and put the glue dot on there and you stepped away because something happened, it would still be sticky when you got back. Not like glue that would dry on you over time. All right, what are you going to paint for your little pine cone here? What are you going to do? Um, any color. You're just going to do rainbow? Just mix and match? Yeah. Just kind of go random? I'm going to do three primary colors. <laughs> your what? Three primary colors. Three primary colors? Yeah. So what are the three primary colors? Red, I wouldn't be. Red, yellow, red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. All right, so before I get even too far into this, there is a chance to win a prize. The prize is an orange art box sent directly to you. This is USA only, just because that's what the shipping is for this particular company. It's a nice small mom and pop company. Actually, it's just a mom company. <laughs> but if you leave a comment about what is your favorite holiday craft? So what is your favorite holiday craft? Um, the felt craft. You like felt crafts? Yeah. All right. My favorite holiday crafts is just making ornaments, any kind of ornament. It doesn't matter what it is. I oh, love handmade ornaments. Oh, did I steal your, did you, you got an idea now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like making ornaments as well. <laughs> so to me, just making ornaments, handmade ornaments. And we have so many beautiful handmade ornaments on our Christmas tree that every year I pull them out. And sometimes they have pictures on them. And sometimes they have, you know, like the kids have traced their hands. So to me, that's what a Christmas tree is all about. If not, is all the beautiful handmade things that we have made over the years. And as the kids grow up, the, the, what they've created and what they like to make to go on the tree totally changes. And so it's just kind of like from what they did in the really early years, and it might've just been a thumbprint on ornament or something down to, she can now paint her own pine cones and we can put a string on it and hang it on the tree, which makes it lots of fun. So leave your comment about what your favorite holiday craft is. And does making cookies count? Of course. Of course, making cookies counts <laughs> because especially if you decorate them and you get kind of artsy with them, there is so much fun with that. So I definitely think that baking is its own art form all in itself. So of course that counts. We don't put any kind of food products in our boxes, but yes, that totally would count. <laughs> well, there was, wasn't there one box that there was like a thing where you can make your own food? I don't think so. Well, we did like craft, like shape food, right? Yeah, but yeah. Not, you wouldn't eat it. So yes, there has been, and every box that we put out every month changes every month. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's not the same crafts repeated over and over, which is fun. I love that. So leave your comments. You have a couple of days, all the information about when we're going to announce the winner. We would love for you to follow Orange Art Box, and I would love you to follow my pages, Erin Reed Makes. That'd be fantastic. Leave your comment on your favorite holiday craft. It could be a current one, or it could be one that you did as a kid. I'd love to see all your options and what's, like, what if people done over the years so well baking does count because you have to like when you put the frosting on the cookies or something right totally yeah when you decorate the cookies like gingerbread houses right yep. is there like decoration and kind of like an art flair to that yeah totally so another way to do the uh pom-poms onto your pine cone is you can take the little glue dots and you can put them directly onto the pom-pom this might be a little simpler for the kids. Make sure the pom, the glue dot is stuck on the pom-pom and then you just come in and you just place it wherever you want. You just go, and that might be a little simpler. Either way, it works. Doesn't matter which way you wanna do it. And then these little pieces, you can just throw those away. You don't Not need those done. anymore. You're done, that's so fast. Do you wanna do one more? You have all the stuff out. Yeah. I'm gonna keep working on my little pom-pom. So we're so excited to show you all these fun craft ideas and art ideas from the Winter Wonderland box, which is one of our boxes that's gonna be re-releasing very, very soon. And again, if you go to the store, links are down below to the Orange Art Box store, use the coupon code Toys for Tots to get 10% off an immediate ship, which there's a lot of options for immediate ships. And also for every immediate ship box for the next, through the weekend, I believe, there is a box that goes to Toys for Tots. So not only are you getting something for you or you can send it to somebody. It's very hard to be around our family right now. So this is a great way to send them a box of love and something that the kids absolutely love to do. And it's artistic and it's just fun. And then you're also giving a box to another child in need through Toys for Tots. 
So that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Get out there, be creative. Hope you enjoyed our little fun pine cone crafts. We have ombre pine cones, we have rainbow pine cones, we have painted pine cones, we have pom-pom pine cones, and all the supplies you need to make these will be in the upcoming Winter Wonderland box. All right, Grace, say goodbye? Mm -hmm. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Have an amazing day, right? Yeah. Don't forget to be crafty. Yeah. <laughs> bye everybody.